This is Detroit. And this is a skateboard. And these two, they go hand in hand. Detroit skateboarding started when determined skateboarders around the city started making their own skate parks called DIYs. The first DIY was called Ride It Sculpture Park. Another DIY park called The Wig was built in 2014 and was skated until it was demolished in late 2019. I, I credit The Wig with changing Detroit skateboarding because it just became a meeting point for so many people and it really created a much stronger Detroit skate community. And yeah, even when The Wig got started, there weren't a lot of skateboarders living down here. Oh, okay. And The Wig's creation and like how hyped people were on it brought a lot of skateboarders to Detroit. Yeah, the skate scene in Detroit grew so much from the creation of The Wig. And um, yeah, it's continued to grow thanks to these DIYs yeah. like The Wig and now Bishop. The DIY spirit of Detroit could not be stopped and they built this skate park called Bishop Skate Park. Everything here we've created ourselves, so it, it kind of like makes you feel like, uh, at least for me, like a different sense of belonging. A lot of skate parks these days are also started with help from the Tony Hawk Foundation. Behind me is Riverside Park, one of the best skate parks in the city, where Tony Hawk actually skates sometimes. It's currently the only skate park in Detroit to have its lights on at night, so that skaters can skate late into the night. This behind me is another skate park started with the help of the Tony Hawk Foundation. It's in Chandler Park, Detroit. viral here last year of a skateboarding news reporter who skated around the park mid report. And so Mr. Premium is going to be out here every single Monday and Wednesday skateboarding with everyone. Victor, how many years have you been skating yourself? A long time. It's been about, I don't know, since I was eight years old. So I love wow. it. That's it. You just blew Karen's <laughs> mind. How do the local shops help the skate community? Yeah, the local shops play a really important role in our skate community. I mean, they provide a place to go and to not just buy products, but also to meet people or like just get kind of in the know of like where to go. And I mean, that would be lost if we didn't have skate shops. And uh, luckily in the Detroit area, we have a lot of really good ones. With shops like Plus People in Olympia, the skateboarding scene here in Detroit is sure to thrive for years to come. Thank you.